Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to paint some little violets on this uh, drinking glass, little stemless water or wine glass. Uh, thank you for all being here. I appreciate it. I'm going to use this purple color here um, and white. Okay, let's see, can you see that? I'm using a filbert brush today to make the flowers a little round. It's like a flat brush, but then it's it's rounded, so Ooh, it's thundering outside. I can hear some bad weather coming, I think. I like these little stemless glasses. They're, they're very pretty. A set of them really are nice too, you know. Make a set of them, you know. See that? You can do these flowers in any color you like, or do them in all different colors if you like. Ooh, there's the bad weather. <laughs> This works just like a flat brush. Um, it just has you, you rounded in. It, it's flat, but if you can see the tip of it, it's just, it rounds off and it, it works really kind of the same way. I like a filbert brush. They make a nice stroke on, you know, on the flowers, different things. And if you put this to the top and you bake your glass, you don't want to drink from the very top. You know, sometimes you don't even have to go near the top. I'm just doing this for painting purposes to show you. But um, you don't you don't need to put any paint at the very top. It's okay if you don't do the whole glass because you have all the other rim to drink from. But you don't want any paint, you know, to the very top. Like if you'd paint the whole glass one color or, you know, you, you don't want to paint 
the whole rim. This is okay here, because this would just be a part of your glass. But And you can go around the whole glass. It, it, it makes it pretty when you go around. Okay, let's see. Um, Alright. I'm going to put some leaves in it now. All right. I think I'm just going to use the one color green on it. Instead of two colors in a one stroke, I think I'm just going to use this one. Let's see how this looks. And and to make the uh, like you know like this, I think I'm just going to do like a little choppy leaf. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. Those, those other, those other leaf, leaves are okay, but we're just going to try this. Just chop it and chop it this way. And those are good. Yeah. No, not so good. Yeah, that's good. You can do all kinds of things. You don't have to follow any certain instructions or directions. Just do your own thing. you can see what I'm doing at home. Just make a little jabbing <laughs> with your fingers. Just a little, you know, like that. That'll work. Well, I guess I could have put them in different directions. I got them all going in one direction, huh? Oh, well. That's okay, too. All right. Put it this way. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my little basic one stroke leaves in here that I like because they're so easy. So many already in there, I'll just put a few in here. Okay. And I'll always add something else if I see it needs it. Okay, for now that's good. And um okay. 
Let's see, I think we need some stems, so I'll use my liner brush here. It's a liner number two. And since that needs to be watered down, a little bit of water on my brush, and, and get this watered. down like that, see how this does. Thank you again for being here. I really do appreciate it. You people are so kind. I enjoy the comments that you leave me. It's really nice, you know. Enjoying the afternoons at night time to sit and read them. Um, it's really nice. Okay, uh, let's see. So, in the. I'm gonna wipe this. Let's see, let me lay this down like this so you can see it doesn't roll any great. Oops, gonna roll both ways. Put this here. Alright, I'll wipe this green off. This liner brush here. And I'm gonna take the yellow and add to the centers of the The little hand, the little violets here. It's like a school bus yellow. And these are enamel paints because that's what you use on glass to bake it, enamel. If, if you use acrylics, it's gonna, it'll come right off. It will not, it won't stay. It's got to be enamel or multi-surface paint on glass. You put it in a cold oven on your rack and then you set your, while they're in there and cold, you set it on 325, your oven to 325 and then put, put your timer at about 45 minutes and turn it off after that and let it sit for two to three hours. Don't peek, <laughs> don't open it, you'll crack your glass, it, it'll be ruined. And I usually do mine at night I'll, I'll, when I'm sitting up and sitting up at night and after 45 minutes I turn my oven off and I let it sit overnight so I know I won't break my glasses. Anyway, let it set two to three hours and then what I do is I usually crack the oven a little bit and um, and put it like a dish towel in between the oven door just to crack it some, let some of the heat out. and. I do that every little bit, yeah, you know, every 
15, 20 minutes and I'll open a little bit more and more and more. Just because I don't want to ruin my my work, my, my glasses. And until uh, I know it's totally cool, the oven's cold. And, and there it will be baked. And you know, some, some say it's good to uh, put in the dishwasher on the top rack. I, I never have. I always hand wash and I always recommend hand wash, you know, just with your hands with soap and and that's it. Don't use any kind of abrasive uh, cleaner on it. Just use your hands in soap and water and they will last you as long as your glass lasts. The painting will last on it. brush again because I want to use white now. Okay. And this is add a little water to this also because the white's already thickening up on me and see it. I love these little purple violets. I, I've done glasses with these larger ones and I've done them with the little bitty tiny violets. A little bitty glasses, you know, like a, a little maybe brandy glasses, small glasses, you know. And they come out really pretty with the little ones. Okay. This is kind of big. Let me try some more brushing. See if this will work better. Okay, and there's one more thing I want to add. Get 
y'all know I love dots. <laughs> so I'm going to add them. These are, these are nice to give for a sister or sister-in-law, Mother's Day, you know, a teacher appreciation. And it, it doesn't cost you a lot. Just put in your, the time you put in, and it is an People appreciate these gifts, they really do. The, the glasses I get to give away I really are to sell. I've bought it at Walmart. Um, I usually buy the good glasses and Dollar Tree has good glasses, but I usually buy the, the good ones at at Walmart that I sell because they are of better quality, you know, um, like this one here, I don't, I don't know, Libby's or, or what it is right at this moment, I just smudged all this up <laughs> talking and put my finger on it, but, um, you know, when I, when I do just sell them, I do buy a better quality, you know, but just to paint around, and I have so many glasses, that I have cabinets filled with glasses that I've just painted just to just to paint I guess you know just because I enjoy painting but um, okay but the better quality get glasses aren't even expensive to do this for a for, for a messed up here too. Sorry, I got get that. I don't like messing up like that. I have the alcohol, alcohol on my um, cotton ball because that's what you clean it up with. If you make a mistake, you use alcohol. And that's okay. I'll leave that off for now. It's okay. Let you, um, give that as a gift or make a set of them, keep them for yourself. <laughs> and I want to thank you all for being here. And uh, I hope you come again. Y'all take care, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye, y'all.